Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today we're furthering on our work on these evergreens. Today, I'm going to prune up a nice little uh, Huja Occidentalis forest, and I'm going to, I think I have to get it, like some old stumpy stuff out of this um, golden Thuja Occidentalis that I have. It's pretty much like a topiary tree, not much of a bonsai, but I got it too late in life, so... I like it, making the best of it. So that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right, cool. So I did its first uh, planting and shaping last year, and I know that I wanted it to fill in a little bit more here, which is difficult because most of the sun and energy is going to the top of the tree. So I just have a little bit of um, pruning up top to get it back into the shape I want. I like the height that it's it's at. It's probably the height I'll maintain for the life of the trees, which is hopefully a long time. I'm going to come down a little bit here. Anything that's really just reaching outside of the primary canopy will show what really I want to cut back. Not too much. It's got a nice shape to it. Not a lot going on up here. Birds are chirping. Pretty much perfect morning here. Canadian geese are back. Probably not my Canadian geese. But I pretty much adopt and watch and look, uh, look after their little baby geeselings each year. I name them. It's ridiculous. But anyways. Pretend I'm the mayor of the pond and I have to help and govern all wildlife. So two years in a row, one year I had to save a little baby uh, geeseling that was caught in the swimming ropes on a fishing line around its foot. While the parents were trying to attack me from above, I swam under and bit the fishing line. And then last year I was paddle boarding with Franny and a client. And uh, I kind of like it coming down like that. And... We were passing this family of ducks that were just kind of chilling on a little beach shore. And all of a sudden, one started freaking out and the rest flew off. And I paddled over and there was this huge turtle hanging from its leg. So I got the turtle off of the duck and made sure it was cool. It swam off with the rest of the fam. Both legs were functioning, no blood. So I'd like to believe he made it and myrtled the turtle, which he or she has been named now. Lurks beneath still. <laughs> Dangerous to the wildlife. It's a really nice freshwater pond. So it's about a mile swim if you swim all the way out and back. Which is nice. Fran and I will do that. Just having a conversation. It's like a little fish, that one. We'll be teaching Stella to swim this summer. Yeah. I kind of like these little hangies. Cool. Like I said, not much on this one, so let's go ahead, move over. Boom, 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 and take a look. So, I got to this bad boy late, later on. And 
It's pretty much like a triple trunk that is fused together. So probably cuttings or very tightly grown seedlings originally in a nursery. This is what we got. You see right there, right here, got some stumpage. So I'm gonna prune that out, but I also have a big crack going down the side of this pot. So I'll be careful just to turn it. And let's get y'all set up here. Is that gonna work? Yeah, that'll work for the time being. Sun's rising over the pond, which will, even if I showed you, would do it no justice. I always try to take videos and photos of it. And it's just never as awesome as it really is. All right. Work out well. Got some old boards here I'll get rid of. Just do a little cleanup job. Nothing too exciting for y'all today. But if you've been part of this entire process, and you want to see it through. So. Heading out today to get hopefully a combo of two thirds peat moss, two scoops peat moss, and one top soil. Uh, one of the garden stores. Pop that into my new trailer and uh, continue on working on my raised tree bed. Right now it's almost functional. I have the pallets all up and I've been kind of working the slots of the, the pallets that I don't need off and trying to repurpose them towards the bottom to plug the, the slots that were open so it will retain soil. Um, so it's pretty fugly but functional. Alright, let's see where do we have it positioned. Right there. Maybe we can find a better one. I probably just had the big long pruners and that's why I left it longer the last time or I was afraid of some dieback. That was probably more like it. Oof, yeah, that's terrible. Maybe getting some pots today. Definitely at least one for my juniper. But we'll see how much the soil is before I go buying a bunch of pots. Cool. So you see the sun's rising over the pond. Oh man, those clouds are insane. Laura's like, I wish our chicken coop wasn't so ugly. <laughs> well, it is what it is. And then maybe not with the glare you can't see, but down there it's coming together. The raised tree bed right off of the chicken coop. So that will be another video. Anyways, I'm Jared Paul. Uh, that's going to do it for the work on these thujas and more to come on these evergreens. So for my family, yours, have a great weekend. Cheers.